The Disney Renaissance, a time period where some of the greatest animated Disney movies came out. What's happening guys, back at you with another video. So, with the recent release of the Little Mermaid live action, and just, you know, going over some Disney movies that I was watching over the past uh, couple weeks and few days and all that, um, I decided to go ahead and do this video of basically ranking all of the Disney Renaissance films, and I get, I was saying, might as well rank these Renaissance films basically because The Little Mermaid is in this list of Disney animated Rena Renaissance films. So I decided to go ahead and rank them. So for those of y'all that may not be familiar with the Disney Renaissance, it's a 10 year period, basically taking place during the 90s where Disney animated films became commercially and critically successful again. There, there was a time period before that where Disney movies weren't getting that much acclaim. They weren't critically or commercially successful. But once it came to the year of, I believe 1989, was the start of it and evidently enough it was actually the uh, start the movie that started it all was the little mermaid in 1989 and from then on for about 10 years they came out with a new movie each year basically and each one of the movies was critically and commercially successful so hence this that is why they call it the disney renaissance so 10 year period all with successful movies coming out basically each year this is one of the period this like basically the, these movies are a lot of my favorite Disney anime movies come from this time period. So um, basically it consists of 10 movies. I'm going to be ranking all of them from the bottom to the top. Let's go ahead and get into this. So coming at the bottom, t and just because the movies are at the bottom, I think all these movies are actually pretty good. But of course, this is a ranking video. Of course, something has to come out at the bottom. And that's going to be The Rescuers Down Under. Now, this is a movie, I believe, is a sequel to The Rescuers. Um, this is a fine film. You know, I had um, a little, it was a little entertained by, you know, basically these are uh, two mouse Rescu rescuers uh go to australia to help save this kid uh it's a fine film you know it's a nice little fine film you know that it's not too long or anything like that so i was at least entertained by it coming up next is going to be pocahontas pocahontas is an honestly pretty good movie it's, it's a pretty good movie it's not one i typically watch i probably only watched it i watched it recently but before then i probably haven't seen it since like i was a kid and i didn't even remember much of it since i watched it as a kid so this was kind of a refresh for me checking it out and upon rewatch um honestly like it's, this one's a fine film also you know it's good has some good music in there uh good songs and all that uh not one i typically would probably go back and rewatch a whole lot really but uh nonetheless it's still pretty good next one on the list we come to the little mermaid with a recent live action release the Little Mermaid, I think, is a good movie. Not one I typically watch either. I haven't probably seen it in many years since before rewatching it. At least, uh, you know, I rewatched it before I went to go see the new live action one. And before that, it, it was probably when I was a kid when I watched it last time. Uh, this one is another one that I don't typically go to for rewatch. And it's not necessarily one of my favorites that I uh, would choose for, you know, on my top favorites list of Disney anime movies. Uh, but nonetheless, it has some good songs in there. And it's, you know, it's good. It's a good movie. Moving on to the next one, we come to one of my top all-time favorites. This one, this one would definitely be on one of my top all-time favorites Disney anime movies list, and that is going to be Tarzan. Tarzan has, I believe, one of the best soundtracks in in, in all Disney anime movies. Uh, with Phil Collins doing the soundtrack, we had a lot of banger songs in this movie. Uh, it tells a pretty good good story. It tells a basic story that people already know, and a lot of people already know that's been retold so many times. But you know, Disney puts their own flair to it. And, you know, we get this movie of Tarzan, which is honestly one that I rewatch a lot, uh, especially when I was a kid. I rewatched this a lot. I remember having the VHS to this one and just literally rewatching it a whole lot. Um, I like the music in here. Like I said, great songs by Phil Collins. Great movie. Also, overall, this is one I typically do go back and rewatch ever so often. Moving to the next one on the list, and that's going to be Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, this one is... Uh, one that I don't typically rewatch, not because it's bad or anything. I think it's very good. It's really good. Upon this rewatch, I was like thinking, man, this is actually pretty good. Upon, um, you know, not even seeing it recently. I probably haven't seen it. It's been like many years since I've seen this movie. And honestly, rewatching it again, you can see why it was up for awards and all that. Definitely has some good music in here. Has a great story behind it in this movie. And honestly, it's a pretty good movie. Honestly, I might check it out again, rewatch it again down the line. Because honestly, it was, it was pretty good. Next up on the list is going to be Hercules. Hercules is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I like the music that's in there. Uh, we get this story of Hercules. It's pretty good. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good movie. And I think we're supposed to be getting a live action one too. So we'll see how that goes with the live action remake if we do end up getting it. But uh, for this one, as far as the anime movie is concerned, a lot of great music, like I said, has a pretty good storytelling, um, you know, Greek mythology and with Hercules and all that. Um, this one is one I definitely enjoy. It's definitely one I rewatch ever so often. Uh, and it's definitely one of my favorites. Moving on to the next one. Listen, this one is actually um, 
uh, underrated film. I think this one is definitely an underrated film. This one doesn't usually get talked about a whole lot. And honestly, I think this one would be good as a live action remake. If they did it really good and they did it pretty well, I think this one could definitely be a good live action remake. And that's going to be The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, this one I rewatched recently, and it's probably been a few years since I rewatched it, but I think this one is definitely an underrated film. Um, has great, great score. I'll say it has definitely one of the best scores out of Disney anime films with the operatic and the chorus type of score and music that has in this movie. Uh, it's so epic sounding and all that stuff. But if they kept that in the live action, if they ever did make a live action, they kept that kind of score and music in there. It will sound so epic. Uh, we get the story of Quasimodo and it's basically this story that's like, don't judge a book by its cover just because somebody looks a different way doesn't mean you know how they really are. Don't judge them. Don't like prejudge them just because it, just because of the way they look and all that. So I think it's a very heartfelt story with this character and in this movie it's very heartfelt. And just some of the messages that you could get to uh, come across if it was in a live action form, I think it would do good, really. But honestly, I like this one. Like I said, I think it's a little underrated when it comes to other Disney anime films. So this is definitely a great movie. Moving on to the next one, and that's going to be Mulan. Mulan is one of my favorite Disney movies. I like the music in this one, and I like the story that's behind it, telling the story of this uh, this girl that goes off to war to protect her family, to you know take honor into her family. And basically, I like I said before, um, Mulan, in my opinion, is probably the best Disney princess, and it, she is officially a Disney princess. And the reason why is because she goes to war. She does things to protect her family, protect her country, and all that. And if y'all know anything about Disney princesses and what it takes to become an official Disney princess, y'all will understand that there was literally, like, she wasn't officially Disney princess, but she had such recogni recognition and the way she was able to be in this movie that they literally created a, her own category just for her to be her own Disney princess. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. That's pretty, that, that's, that's like, you know, that's, awesome honestly um so like i said i think she's the best disney princess in my opinion she probably if i had to choose a favorite disney princess she would probably be my favorite i like this movie a lot has great music in it great story behind it so it's definitely a great one coming into the number two spot we're we'll get to one of my all-time favorites this when it comes to this movie and the number one movie at the top of the list those are probably my number one and number two favorite movies of all time when it comes to disney anime movies and at the number two spot that is going to be aladdin aladdin is Definitely one of my favorites of all time. Um, I just like the music in here, everything that this movie does. We get a phenomenal performance from uh, Robin Williams as the genie, one of my favorite Disney characters. Um, great music, like I said. Awesome story, pretty good story to tell with this movie. I like this movie so much. It's amazing. Uh, I enjoy this movie so much. This is one I usually rewatch ever so often. So this one I enjoy so much. Definitely a great movie. We get to the number one spot, and that's going to be The Lion King. Lion King is probably my number one favorite Disney movie of all time. This movie is so great. Music, animation, all that stuff. Great story behind it. And just a lot of great things about this movie. This is one I definitely rewatch a lot. And it's just I, one I always go back to. It's just I enjoy it every time I watch it. It's one of the ones I watched a lot as a kid also. I had the VHS, and I wa used to watch it a, a whole lot, almost nonstop, really. And so much like i get so much joy out of this movie i get so much entertainment out of this movie it's just a i enjoy this movie so much and it's awesome it's an awesome movie i gotta say but yeah y'all probably thought Lion king was probably gonna be number one Lion king is on top of a lot of people's list so Lion king comes in at the number one when it comes to disney renaissance movies so that is what how i would rank all the disney renaissance movies let me know down in the comments below how would you rank them if you could but that'll do it all for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you can know I'm posting our video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.